Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have to go run some errands today, so I thought why not film a quick get ready with me. So yeah, let's get started. My makeup routine has not changed since my last get ready with me, so it'll be pretty similar. But basically, I always um, curl my lashes, tend to do my lashes or my eye makeup first. My lips are really chapped, so I'm gonna put on some Aquaphor first. Um, the air is really crisp these days, and I had really bad allergies yesterday for some reason. So yeah, I look a little rough, but bear with me. <laughs> oh, um, I, sh I talked about this in my last video, or I don't know which one. But basically the Glossier Sky Wash eyeshadow. I've been loving this. This is so nice. All I do is like maybe like three dots. Not too much. Oh, that might be a little too much. It's very watery, so it's super easy to play with. I noticed that it can be a little patchy at times. But if you just like kind of work with it, but don't work too much with it because the more you play with it, like it'll start to kind of get rubbed off and stuff. So yeah, very quick, like easy to go kind of uh, product. It's just basically like an eyeshadow tint. And like, as you can see, can you see <laughs> my finger that I used it with um, got stained, but it comes off. I'm also going to add a little bit on my lower lash and then time to move on to mascara same product <laughs> my l'oreal uh, lash paradise whoa i think my concealer exploded somewhere got messy i know it's time for like a new tube when it gets clumpy and i start to see all these clumps that means it's like kind of drying out so it can look a little flaky and chunky i honestly only stick to like l'oreal or maybelline uh mascaras because they're amazing and they're always around like 10 bucks power of mascara right i'm gonna put some on my now on to face makeup. I still use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I think it's still the same tube as last video. <laughs> I might need more. Okay, now that's too much. Because of masks these days, I really don't want to like put on too much face makeup I hate the mask transfer they're so gross <laughs> let's move on to concealer oh no allergies so concealer here I didn't even blow my nose yesterday I just sneezed a lot I just dabbed my nose because it was so runny, sorry. Um, but it got really red, like because of the friction from tissue, I don't know. But honestly, it'll be covered with my mask anyway, so I'm not even gonna bother covering that up. Whatever's left, I just put it on my nose. Doesn't really make a difference, but you know. When I am covering um, like pimples or like red spots, I just let my concealer sit there for a little bit um, because my sponge is always kind of wet. So I feel like if I just go right in, it's going to kind of move the product around too much. But yeah, bronzer, same thing. Chanel, old one. Can't replace it anymore because they reformulated it. Project. 
And then lately, um, I've been using powder to set my face a little bit because of that mask transfer. So um, I'll be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Yes. Honestly, I feel whoa, it like exploded in there. I feel like I'm gonna use this forever because you really only need a little bit. And I like using my sponge because I feel like it it doesn't make your face like too cakey or like too powdery when you're using a wet sponge with it. And I hate shiny brows, so I dab my brows. And I hate shiny forehead too. This is too much, so let me put it here and then mainly my nose and teasel basically. Yeah, so put it on your forehead too. Oh my god, hair everywhere. But yeah, basically sets your face without looking too powdery, which I really like. And then, um, let's go ahead and conceal. I just sound like I have a lisp, I do not. Get rid of these mask knees. And then let's move on to the brows. Still using the ColourPop um, brow gel. I did get the Glossier one when I got the Sky Wash, but I just wanna use this one. Oh yeah, so I know the Chloe Ting two-week challenge is really, really popular these days. So I decided to try it out. <laughs> and it's been horrible. <laughs> it's so hard. Um, the last time I worked out was when I used to go to Pilates, but this was also like before COVID, so with lockdown and everything, my um, my studio closed down and I haven't been since. This is like March. Oh man, and I don't really do well with um, cardio. Cardio is just it's just like the death of me. Like I just can't do it. It's too much. I hate I hate sweating. I hate when my heart beats too fast. I hate all of it. So yeah, her workout is just so like, oh my God, like I want to die. <laughs> but I really wanted to push myself and like actually do the whole challenge. Um, so I actually made a tracker. Hold on, let me show you. Whoops, it ripped. Wow, it just ripped trying to hold this up. But basically, I made this tracker. Um, so today is Saturday and it's a rest day. So we're gonna mark it, thank God. I'm like a third into this challenge. So yeah, I started on Wednesday, today is Saturday, thank goodness. I have all these like swirly marks because I was initially looking at her 2019 routine and I did not realize <laughs> until after the second day. So I had to switch over to the 2021 and the 2021 is a lot harder and it takes longer too. The whole routine is like anywhere from like 40 to 15 minutes without all the like optional uh, workout videos, but like the 2019 one is like 20 to 30 minutes, or maybe like 35, which was a lot more doable. So yeah, it was painful to realize that um, I was following the outdated version. So yeah, I just want to like really push myself and actually do this thing so that after two weeks, I can just have this like sense of accomplishment. I want to be proud of myself. <laughs> but moving on, I'm going to contour my nose using the same thing like Kevin Aquan. And then let's see, what can I do? Oh, let's highlight our inner corners. Thing, the benefit locks up. 
I think my makeup looks pretty good. Pretty good. Look like a human being now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I know super fast, super easy, but you know, I'm just going to downtown, nothing much. So for my outfit, um, I'm wearing this brown cashmere sweater I got from Nadam. Yes. Um, and then these Cezanne pants that I showed you of my fall haul. Houndstooth, camel color, very nice. <laughs> and then for shoes, uh, I'm just gonna wear my Gucci loafers, very convenient and comfortable. Um, and then it looks like it's pretty cold outside. My hands are cold too. So I'm just gonna throw on this thick cardigan from And Other Stories. I got it last year. And then I'm just gonna throw on my bag as a pop of color. So yeah, there you have it, my OOTD. Thanks for watching.